Hello everybody, Burial Starcraft here. Coming back to you after a very, very long time away. Um, I had to take a little break just because of work and Christmas time and stuff like that. I'm sure everybody understands, but uh, hopefully I'm going to be getting back into it now. I've got a lot of good games saved up. Uh, a lot of good games, actually. Um, this being one of them, obviously, or else I wouldn't be casting it, right? But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a ZVZ. It's going to be against the Blue Zerg Lin. I'm asking him if he feels my pain about CVZ. It seems like every second game at least, if not every game, is always CVZ. It's like nobody likes to play Terran or Protoss anymore. I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, play more Terran and Protoss people because I'm really fucking tired of playing so many Zerg players. Especially when since like 90% of the matches they always go the same way you know it's either mutiling or roaches you know there's only really two two ways you really go there you don't really get a lot of hydralisks maybe if he's getting a, a ton of mutas and but I mean his zerglings lead up your hydras I don't know it's just a big messy 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 show so usually CVCs are pretty quick one one person just counters the other person perfectly and you know the game's over in my in my experience anyway so I don't know. But as I said, it's EVZ, so usually by this time I would have had a hatch down. I'm opting to go for the 15 pool instead. Now, that's just because in a EVZ, it's a little more complicated because not being Protoss or Terran, you can't really wall in the front of your base or whatnot. So, usually, personally, I like to get my defenses situated, get my spawning pool going, get a couple Zerglings maybe before I, uh, before I drop my expansion, which is what I'm going to do in this game. Uh, if you look at the production tab, spawning pools coming in at about the same time. Let's check the harvester count. I'm up on him for one. I mean, that's probably going to be, there we go, 15 15s. We'll probably stay pretty close the whole game. Um, even though ZVZs usually don't turn out to be uh, to be a macro fest. But, uh, I mean, obviously the more drones you have, the better, right? So, we scouted out each other. There goes my expansion, uh, because my spawning pool has popped. If we look down at, uh, at Lin, he's dropping a Baneling Nest, so probably he doesn't have an expansion going. Probably can expect some kind of all-in Baneling bus. I haven't scouted that, of course. That's just, just what I'm seeing now. Not to give anybody any kind of information of what to come, of course, because I don't want to spoil anything for anybody. Back at the base, pumping out a few zerglings. My queen's almost done. Gonna get start injecting right away. Um, first little zerg, a few zerglings coming out. Um, I would imagine I'm gonna take the Zelnaga Watchtower. Hopefully, I'm gonna take the Zelnaga Watchtowers because map control in ZVZ is, is is crucial. Just because the units are so quick, especially if if you got your creep rolling, even not zer zerglings with speed, they can just get to your base instantly. It almost seems so. You got to be ready to react, and as soon as you as soon as you can, so. Yeah, there we go. A couple of Zerglings going out. Gonna take some towers. I got a text here. This is how annoying is that, eh? Like I'm trying to do it I'm trying to do a cast and everybody everybody wants me right now. There we go. Alright, we're all done with that. Um Lynn down here pumping out a lot of Zerglings. As you can see he's decided now he's gonna go take the towers taking that map control with me. I managed to save this one Zergling. He's going to run back with his tail between his legs. Group up with the other Zerglings because I think at this point I have a feeling that uh, that some Zerglings are coming. Expansions up and running. Got a queen coming out of there. She's almost done. Going to start injecting with her. Dropping a little static defense. One spine crawler. Just just to be safe. I mean, it, it really never hurts. I mean, the positioning on it isn't that great. Sure, it's watching the expansion, but I would personally would have liked it a little closer to the ramp. Uh, maybe even in this area right here, if I can get my creep down there, um, just to get my spine crawler there, it would just help I don't know, slightly wall it more, just so the zerglings got to run around a little more to get there. We have a look down here. Lin, I think he's deciding he's going to move out, or maybe take these rocks. I don't know. Maybe he's just going to sit there. Ah, he's waiting for these other zerglings, and then he is going to move out. I of course will see this because I am just taking this tower at the same time. I see all those zerglings, as you can see on the production tab, I'm probably going to start pumping out a lot of a lot of zerglings, or I might just wait for that roach den, or that roach horn, sorry, to 
to finish up and probably pump out a whack of roaches, or try to anyway, because I know the zerglings are coming in and know he's got a lot more zerglings than I do. I really don't have any whatsoever. So roach horn almost done, and hopefully, yep, there we go, instantly we see some roaches coming out. Now, roaches against zerglings usually don't do overly well, but especially when there's that many zerglings. So what I'm hoping to do with them is more or less just block my ramp with them so that he can't get up my ramp and just come in on my face, on my main base, basically. Have a look over here. He's moving up. He's got some zerglings. He's got a lot of banelings. Banelings not so good as roaches, but in numbers, you know, they'll just take out everything. They're ho I'm sure he's just hoping to take out some peasants or whatnot with that. Here he goes. He's moving out. Zerglings catching that one stray roach. Pretty sloppy on my part, but as you can see, I got my roaches on my ramp. They're holding position. Um, those zerglings are not going to get in my base. They're not going to eat through uh, those roaches. And I even have some queens, the my queen there, just to transfuse if needed. He's going to send in his banelings. Like I said, not very effective in those roaches, as you can see. I mean, they're not doing they're not doing that much. Um, he's pumping out a lot more zerglings, so I think he's hoping to uh, to keep on this pressure at this point. I'm going to continue to pump out roaches because I feel that um, if I can just contain the zergling rushes that I'm going to have the upper hand because I'm going to be farther ahead in tech and um, he's just not going to be able to get into my main base. Roach speed coming down for me. Eight more roaches. So that's a, that's a good, good bulk of roaches right now. Down here in his base, he's going to be moving out with these zerglings again. He's going to try a second round. I don't think he's going to pump in any banelings this time, just because um, he knows I have roaches, and he knows banelings are just no good against roaches, so he's going to continue his luck with uh, with his speed links. I think I was thinking about moving out with those roaches at that point, but I saw him on the mini-map, so I decided to pull back because I, you know, I just figured he was coming. So I'm going to continue to pump out roaches. He's pumping out 10 more zerglings, 12 more zerglings, um, just to try to overwhelm me with sheer numbers. Other than that, not too much else happening. Um, I'm just trying to get my defenses situated. Let's have a look at the income here. Seven more harvesters than him, so I'm obviously focusing on the macro more, or the micro more, sorry. Um, just trying to prepare for my mid and late game. Uh, at this point, I'm moving out with my roaches. Um, I'm going to go see what he's got and I'm gonna go take a little poke. I don't know if I see this ball of zerglings here right now. I don't think I do. I'm just content to go at his main base and uh, and hope for the best. But as you can see, those zerglings are moving in. I'm gonna see them in a second here and I have a very big decision to make because that's a lot of zerglings in my base. Can I get my roaches back in time? No, I can't get my roaches back in time. So I'm gonna send my roaches into his main base and just try to clean up. At this point, at this point, it's pretty much a base race because even though I'm pumping out a whack of roaches, he's got all his zerglings up here. He's going to take down this hatch, and then he's going to try to push into my main base, right? I didn't, I couldn't, I didn't have enough units to wall it off. I, I did try. I didn't have enough units, so he's going to come right in. He's going to try to focus down my uh, my layer. I'm going to send up my drones in his base. I'm picking him apart. He's got nothing left. His drones are gone. Um, I'm going to take out his hatch. I know right now it's a base race. Looking back at my base, I mean, I've still got a little bit of drones. I've still got some. I've still got some roaches. I've cleaned up his. I've cleaned up his zerglings. I think he knows that. He doesn't even give me a GG. He just leaves the game. He's beat. Not much else to say about that one. So I hope you guys enjoyed my first cast in a long time. Um, hopefully, I'm going to do two today. I'm hoping to do two today and hopefully get them both uploaded by tonight. So thanks for watching.